So the Knights of Columbus made the news in the last month. Controversial now. That was weird. How this works, Senator Maisie Hirono, Democrat from Hawaii, was questioning Brian Boucher, 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 in his hearing to become a federal judge. Can you tell that I like just learned how to do the corner thing because it's now in like all my videos? Brian Boucher is a Knight of Columbus. Hirono wanted to hear him say that if he was selected as a judge, he would leave the Knights of Columbus. She started calling the Knights of Columbus an extreme group. And then she implied that it was inappropriate for a judge to be part of a group that was so against American laws. Later, when a senator got mad at her for doing all that, she said that he was bowing to the alt-right. I don't know, I look at somebody who says that the Knights are an extremist group and are obviously scared that they're gonna topple American society as they are, and all I can help but thinking is, man, I wish! Like, how awesome would it be if the Knights of Columbus were actually a group that committed to Christ, that it scared the politicians, but it still made the bishops happy? I know one thing, they wouldn't have the recruitment problems they've had recently. No, seriously, one time in my last job, I was invited to, like, a meeting of semi-hire of Knights of Columbus. The meeting was about millennial men and how to recruit them. They said the word participate trophy a lot and I thought to myself surely this is the place where I will find the point of all of this these guys want to find more men to join them surely there must be a reason to have more men in your group something that either benefits the Knights as an organization the church or the world or at least the individual members and I sat there and I listened to them say multiple times the words pancake breakfast. Like seriously, that was the reason for recruiting. Who's gonna run the pancake breakfast if we don't recruit the young guys? And they turned to me looking for like a secret that they hadn't figured out yet. Guys, I wanted to know what you were all about and apparently you just told me. Young adults aren't gonna join a thing just because they make pancakes. Gee, I wonder why this generation of young people that doesn't really commit to things and already has a problem trusting old people isn't gonna join a group of a bunch of old men when those old men already admit amongst themselves that their only purpose for existing is to serve pancakes. I really wouldn't be going off the serving pancakes cliche if it wasn't actually said to me by knights. Do you want young men to join the knights? Then start answering the needs of young men. Give young men a place for prayer, a place for mentorship, a place to talk about Jesus, a place to learn, and a place to serve the church. The best knights chapters that I've ever seen only really do that last one. The knights keep telling me that they're gonna address these needs, but they keep showing me that all they really do is have the odd fundraiser and then also have the long complicated Masonic meetings. And if you're not gonna do things like mentorship, prayer, and formation, you're not really really a fraternal organization within the Catholic Church, you're just a philanthropy funded by an insurance company. Now like, a really good philanthropy funded by an insurance company, but you know, just a philanthropy funded by an insurance company. Now let's be real, if you're married or you have dependents, you should totally be on the Knights Insurance Plan. It's the best deal in town and it funds really awesome things. But if you're looking for a place to serve your parish, serve the larger world, educate yourself in the faith, and make friends, honestly there is no shame in making the Knights prove themselves to you before you have to learn the difference between a first and second degree Knight. The vlog has ended, go and peace. I'm really bad at these things at the end, so we're gonna put some music on it. Steve the Missionary comes up on my channel three times a week, live Mondays at 3 p.m., and every Tuesday and Thursday with a made video like this. I really hope to see you commenting and reacting to this video anywhere down below. My Twitter and Facebook are down below. Like and subscribe is the best way to spread the conversation. I hope that everyone's civil out there. This is kind of a hot topic for some reason, uh, but enjoy yourselves. All right, peace.